Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. We do tech, I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description, join the Discord, and the premium problem solutions I do are on Patreon. Um, Fibonacci numbers are commonly denoted by F of N to form a sequence called the Fibonacci sequence, such that each number is the sum of the two preceding ones, starting from 0 and 1. Okay, so um, the first two elements of the Fibonacci sequence are 0 and 1, if you've never heard of it. And then it's the combination of the previous two numbers after that. So 0 plus 1 is 1. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. So it keeps going. Um, this is a very, like, one of the most well-known little small programs ever. It's really easy to implement. It's often used this uh, or factorial um, calculating the factorial of a number are often used in college, early college, to uh, show how recursion works. They're pretty easy recursive problems. So um, we're going to look at the uh, implementation recursively, and then we'll do it iteratively, and I'll talk about the difference. Um, but this wouldn't really come up in an interview usually. Uh, that would be kind of a weird interview. But, um, you know, it always could, so it's good to know how to do it. So first thing we'll do is recursively. So what is recursion? Recursion is just making a function, your own function call. So we're taking in a number, the number that we want the uh, the value in that se part of the sequence, so the Fibonacci sequence. Um, so we would just um, return fib of n minus 1 plus fib of n minus 2. And what does this do? You roll, recursion is you're making calls, they're called recursive calls. You're calling the function you're in, on. you're basically calling yourself with a smaller sub-problem. So if you're given 5, you're going to return 5 plus this, you're going to pass in return fib of 4 plus fib of 3, you know? And uh, all you, you recursion usually has base cases. So in this case, we're going to do if n is equal to 0, we return 0. That returns, you know, if n was the 0th number in the Fibonacci sequence, it would be 0, right? Because 0 is the first number. Uh, and if n is 1, we return 1. So uh, this is a valid implementation. I'm pretty sure this is... Uh, going to run fine, yeah. It's pretty slow, though, um, if you cared about time complexity, which you wouldn't really in this. I mean, you could, I guess, if it was huge. Um, so the time complexity is O of 2 to the N, because you're making 2 to the N uh, calls. You're calling yourself. And then you also have stack space. Recursion always involves uh, stack space. So we're dealing with pretty bad uh, time complexity. How can we improve on this? Well, we can improve. We can just leave these base cases, actually. And we could set up our... Um, let's get our first number will be 0. And the second number in the sequence will be 1. And we will say, while n is greater than 1, we'll do n minus minus. And we'll, do, uh, we'll calculate the sum. So we'll say... We'll calculate the sum right here. So we'll say sum is equal to a plus b, b is equal, a is equal to b, and then b is equal to sum. And uh, at the end, we should have exactly what we want, and we'll just return sum. It's almost like dynamic programming in a way. Cannot find symbol sum. Uh, that's why. So we'll just say int a, whatever. So that's fine. Yeah, that should be fine please there we go okay see it's it, i don't know if the time is actually that good on leco but in this case it did show it was better um so this is a better solution it's actually linear and it doesn't use space uh it just uses variables it's semi-dynamic programming but not really i guess but um i mean what it does is it's just iterative it just um you know you keep the last two uh pieces in the sequence you sum them up because that's how you get the next one in the sequence and then you update um b is the next in the sequence so you have to update that to the sum and then a is the one behind it so you have to update it to b and you update it to b before you do b to sum so you don't lose reference that's it those are two ways this way is faster a little bit better uh try and go iterative if you have that in an interview which you probably won't so 
Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys want me to do. Let me know if you have any problems. Let me know if you have any feedback about the channel. Let me know if you want to see any topics. But to, I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I'm losing my mind. I'm doing these problems all day. All right. You know, it's all gay. Calm down. Calm down. We're good. Get through this. Just do. Uh, you just have 800. You just have 900 more problems. You just have about 1,000 more problems to go. And they add more every day. But it's all good. All right. I'll see you guys next time.